see bus. Hi, it's Gary from LawNarration.com. Uh, today we're taking the first test ride on the uh, on the Stinger um, uh, 3000 machine. Uh, this is a prototype that we talked about in the other video we looked at in the shop. We've got it out here this morning. We're going to do this complex with it. Uh, you can see we've got some of our other units out here behind me. We're already working. Um, you know, we've got our X marks going. Uh, so I'm going to give this thing a little workout. This complex is tight. Uh, you can see there's, there's a little bit of off-camber stuff. So I'm going to start some of these tighter areas, uh, maybe the front yards of the houses and things like that, some of the tighter spots like that. And then eventually I'm going to work over here and, and work on some of the hillsides and around the pond area. So we're going to see how well um, this stance. Uh, as we mentioned in the shop, you'll see the stance on this unit, uh, the front wheels are quite a bit wider than you'll find on an Exmark. So I'm interested to find out you know, how well it does on these... Uh, these side slopes. Um, you know, we're going to operate it pretty much like I do most of the X marks. Um, you know, we're going to mess around with the time control switch a little bit. Uh, on this complex, there's not too much big wide open acreage for us to do. This is pretty much a, you know, your typical kind of residential uh, neighborhood, individual houses. We've got um, this is a, what you're seeing right here is only. I don't know, less than half of the half of the complex that we're going to start working on today. But as we get to some other stops, um, we're going to take a look there where we have some wide open areas, and then we can work with the time control switch that allows you to keep the times on all the time in wide open areas. So, but let's get to it, and I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, hour in on this unit um, I'm having a good time uh, a couple things I can tell you right off is uh, it's quick that's for sure it has a lot of power uh, it's very responsive on the controls uh, what I do like about it quite a bit is the time carriage unit so actually when um, you know when you put the tines in the ground and you push the button um, they operate very quickly uh, much faster than what you'll find on the Ryans and especially the Ryans but um, even the Toros and the X Mark. I mean it, it does have a slight delay so when you push the tines in the ground normally uh, there's a, a good full second um, worth of delay before the tines are in the ground. On this one it seems like about half a second it's really quick to actuate and also to get them back up out of the ground which is really important because you know if you're going over an obstacle um, like an irrigation cover or something like that and it comes up on you fast you want those tines out of the ground quickly so you don't run over it so that part I do like uh, I have a lot of fun it worked pretty well in the hills there's some more critiques but before I uh, get into too much of that uh, I just want to ride it some more I've only had an hour in it uh, basically I've got done what you see here um, so you know I did around the circle uh, I did around this pond uh, I've also done off camera. I did uh, the fronts uh, of the complex, and I did the fronts of most of these houses also. So uh, I got a fair amount done. It's only been about 45 minutes or an hour. So I'm gonna keep working, and we're gonna get this complex done this half anyway. 
we're going to move on to the next complex and I'll keep you updated.